Professor Heike Kamerling Onis Fres for HFRSEFCS Dutch, ENDS, 21 September 1853 to 21 February 1926 was a Dutch physicist and Nobel laureate. He exploited the hampson lynn cycle to investigate how materials behave when cooled to nearly absolute zero and later to liquefy helium for the first time, in 1908. He was also the discoverer of superconductivity in 1911. Topic. Biography Topic. Early years Kamerling Onnes was born in Groningen, Netherlands. His father, Harm Kamerling Onnes, was a brickworks owner. His mother was Anna Gerdina Coers of Arnhem. In 1870, Kamerling Onnes attended the University of Groningen. He studied under Robert Bunsen and Gustav Kirchhoff at the University of Heidelberg from 1871 to 1873. Again at Groningen, he obtained his master's in 1878 and a doctorate in 1879. His thesis was Neue Bewijzen voor de Aswenteling der Aarde tr. New Proofs of the Rotation of the Earth. From 1878 to 1882 he was assistant to Johannes Boscha, the director of the Delft Polytechnic, for whom he substituted as lecturer in 1881 and 1882. Topic. Family He was married to Maria Adriana Wilhelmina Elisabeth Bijlevold M. and had one child, named Albert. His brother Menso Kamerling Onnes was a fairly well-known painter and father of another painter, Harm Kamerling Onnes, while his sister Jenny married another famous painter, Floris Verster <laughs> University of Leiden From 1882 to 1923 Kamerling Onnes served as Professor of Experimental Physics at the University of Leiden. In 1904 he founded a very large cryogenics laboratory and invited other researchers to the location, which made him highly regarded in the scientific community. The laboratory is known now as Kamerling Onnes Laboratory. Only one year after his appointment as professor he became member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. Topic. Liquefaction of helium On 10 July 1908, he was the first to liquefy helium, using several precooling stages and the hampson lind cycle based on the Joule-Thomson effect. This way he lowered the temperature to the boiling point of helium minus 269 degrees Celsius, 4.2 K. By reducing the pressure of the liquid helium he achieved a temperature near 1.5 K. These were the coldest temperatures achieved on Earth at the time. The equipment employed is at the Borhov Museum in Leiden. Topic. Superconductivity In 1911 Kamerling Onnes measured the electrical conductivity of pure metals mercury, and later tin and lead at very low temperatures. Some scientists, such as William Thomson Lord Kelvin, believed that electrons flowing through a conductor would come to a complete halt or, in other words, metal resistivity would become infinitely large at absolute zero. Others, including Kamerling Onnes, felt that a conductor's electrical resistance would steadily decrease and drop to nil. Augustus Matheson said that when the temperature decreases, the metal conductivity usually improves or in other words, the electrical resistivity usually decreases with a decrease of temperature. On the 8th of April 1911, Kamerling Onnes found that at 4.2 K the resistance in a solid mercury wire immersed in liquid helium suddenly vanished. He immediately realized the significance of the discovery as became clear when his notebook was deciphered a century later. He reported that Mercury has passed into a new state, which on account of its extraordinary electrical properties may be called the superconductive state." He published more articles about the phenomenon, initially referring to it as superconductivity, and, only later adopting the term superconductivity. Kamerling Onnes received widespread recognition for his work, including the 1913 Nobel Prize in Physics for, in the words of the committee, his investigations on the properties of matter at low temperatures which led, inter alia, to the production of liquid helium. Legacy 
Some of the instruments he devised for his experiments can be seen at the Borhov Museum in Leiden. The apparatus he used to first liquefy helium is on display in the lobby of the physics department at Leiden University, where the Low Temperature Lab is also named in his honor. His student and successor as director of the lab Willem Hendrik Kiesem was the first person who was able to solidify helium, in 1926. The former Kamerling Onis Laboratory building is currently the law faculty at Leiden University and is known as Kamerling Onis Gebau. Kamerling Onis Building, often shortened to KOG. The current science faculty has a Kamerling Onis Laboratorium named after him, as well as a plaque and several machines used by Kamerling Onis in the main hall of the physics department. The Kamerling Onis Award was established in his honor, recognizing further advances in low temperature science. The Onis effect referring to the creeping of superfluid helium is named in his honor. The crater Kamerling Onis on the Moon is named after him. Onis is also credited with coining the word enthalpy. Onis' discovery of superconductivity was named an IEEE milestone in 2011. Honours and awards Matucci Medal Rumford Medal Nobel Prize in Physics Franklin Medal Selected publications Kamerling Onis, H. Neu bewijzen voor de Aswenteling der Aarde. PhD dissertation. Groningen, Netherlands, 1879. Kamerling Onis, H. Algemeen theorie der Vloeistoffen. Amsterdam AKAD. Verhandel, 21, 1881. Kamerling Onis, H. On the Cryogenic Laboratory at Leiden and on the Production of Very Low Temperature. Com. Phys. Lab. Univ. Leiden, 14, 1894. Kamerling Onis, H. Théorie générale de l'état fluide. Harlem Arch. Nierl, 30, 1896. Kamerling Onis, H. Further experiments with liquid helium. C. On the change of electric resistance of pure metals at very low temperatures, etc. IV. The resistance of pure mercury at helium temperatures. Com. Phys. Lab. Univ. Leiden, No. 120b, 1911. Kamerling Onis, H. Further experiments with liquid helium. D. On the change of electric resistance of pure metals at very low temperatures, etc. V. The disappearance of the resistance of mercury. Com. Phys. Lab. Univ. Leiden, No. 122b, 1911. Kamerling Onis, H. Further experiments with liquid helium. G. On the electrical resistance of pure metals, etc. V. On the sudden change in the rate at which the resistance of mercury disappears. Com. Phys. Lab. Univ. Leiden, No. 124 c. 1911. Kamerling Onis, H. On the lowest temperature yet obtained. Com. Phys. Lab. Univ. Leiden, No. 159, 1922. See also Timeline of low temperature technology, Timeline of states of matter and phase transitions, Coldest temperature achieved on Earth, List of Nobel laureates, History of superconductivity References Topic. Further reading De Bruyne Uboder, Rudolf March 1997. Heike Kamerling Onis's Discovery of Superconductivity. Scientific American. 276 3, 98 103. Bibcode, 1997 Sham, 276 c, 98 d. Doi 10.1038 Scientific American 0397-98. Lasik, Arno. May to June 2002. Through measurement to knowledge, the inaugural lecture of Heike Kamerling Onis, 1882. PDF. 
Journal of Research of the National Institute of Standards and Technology, 107 261–277 doi.10.6028, JRES.107.021. PMC 4861352. PMID 276730. Archived from the original PDF on 2 October 2006. Retrieved 2 October 2006. Reef Ackerman, Simone. June 2004. Hey K. Kamerling Onis, Master of Experimental Technique and Quantitative Research. PDF. Physics in Perspective, 6, 2, 197-223. Bibcode, 2004PHP. 6197R. DOI, 10.1007 per seconds 0016-003-0193-8. Van Delft, D. Freezing Physics, Heike Kamerling Onis and the Quest for Cold. Levelt Sangers, J. M. H. How Fluids Unmix, Discoveries by the School of Van der Waals and Kamerling Onis. Amsterdam, Koninklijke Nederlandse Academie van Wetenschappen, 2002. ISBN 90-6984-357-9. Kamerling Onis, Heike, Gavroglu, Kostas, ed., and Gadarulis, Yorgos, ed. Through Measurement to Knowledge, The Selected Papers of Heike Kamerling Onis Dordrecht, Boston, Kluwer Academic Publishers, C1991. Gadarulis, Yorgos. ISBN 0-7923-0825-5. International Institute of Refrigeration First International Commission. Rapports et Communications Isis du Laboratoire Kamerling Onis. International Congress of Refrigeration 7, 1936, La Hague, Amsterdam, 1936 <inaudible> External links Nobel Prize, Physics 1913 — Official site. About Heike Kamerling Onis, Nobel-winners.com J. Van den Handel, Kamerling Onis, Heike (1853–1926), in Biographisch Woordenboek van Nederland, in Dutch. Leiden University Historical Website. Correspondence with James Dewar, the main competitor in the race to liquid helium. Communications from the Kamerling Onis Laboratory (1885–1898). PhD students of Kamerling Onis (1885–1924).